controversy involving a New Jersey state trooper trying to do, at least according to him, something positive for Black History Month ends up in hot water and suspended from his job for posting a t-shirt. Take a look at this. One of the faces on this t-shirt, convicted cop killer Joanne Chesimard. Mark Bonamo has the story. Mark, what do you got? State trooper Naron Harris has experienced very severe difficulties on this job for wearing a t-shirt or putting it on Instagram of nine figures for African American History Month. However, one of those figures on the shirt is Joanne Chesimard. Joanne Chesimard is a cop killer, killed a New Jersey State Trooper in an incident in 1973, since has gone into exile in Cuba. American authorities have repeatedly tried to extradite her back to the United States to face justice, but has so far been unsuccessful. So what actually happened, Mark? Just let me understand. He wore the T-shirt, he posted it to social media, and then some supervisor found out and said, you fired? I mean, it seems to be there'd be much more of a process to get rid of a trooper, trooper beyond just a T-shirt. He posted it on social media and then did get fired. However, George Daggett, his attorney, has said uh, Officer Harris simply did not know that Joanne Chesimard, who she was, and her significance. Social media, career killer. <laughs> All right, thank you, Mark. Appreciate that. All right, let's bring in the A-plus panel. Jamel Hawley is here, member of the New Jersey State Assembly. Jamel, always good to see you. Thanks for being here. Thank you, Lisa Bill. Durden, pop culture expert, is with us. And Dennis Penny from Rutgers, head of the Veterans Department. Dennis, I'm going to start with you. Uh, it seems to me that at the, very, at the worst here, this guy, uh, or maybe at the best, total ignorance. How do you not know you're a New Jersey State Trooper? Right. You've got one of the most talked about cop killers, one of the most notorious people in the state's history. No, I agree. And I feel like maybe he was fired in port. Um, that was a bad decision. Uh, he definitely is a police officer. You do some research on what you're promoting. You know, that's what anything, especially if you're representing an organization, you just want to put any, anything out there without uh, verifying it first. Lisa, I'm torn on whether or not he should have lost his job over it, but pretty I'm, stupid to begin with. You're, you're growing up. You're growing up. Is that the, what it is? When I agree up. with you, it's a maturity <laughs> level. Is that Absolutely. It? Okay, just um, The first order of Seriously, business though. is they violated his freedom of expression. That's number one. Number two, don't be so quick to think that the police officer did not know that Joanne Chesimard, a.k.a. Asada Shakur, was somebody he didn't know. Remember, a lot of people did not think she was guilty of shooting the cop. They never proved she was the, the trigger person. So some people applaud her. I don't know if he does, but some do. I think he knew exactly who she was. Do you? I mean, she was convicted and then mm -hmm. escaped from prison. Is this a hero of yours? Boo, this is 1973. You know how old I was at that time? Right. Jamel, <laughs> listen, you're a legislator. Have, this is a very serious issue. I've You've got always, law enforcement. I've always said you got to be careful what you put on social yeah. media. Was it inappropriate? Absolutely. Uh, you know, should he have gotten uh, fired or, or suspended? I don't think it right, rose to that level. Exactly. But at the end of the day, you know, you got to be careful, especially when you're in public service and what you put on social media. I tell that time and time and time again to people. Watch what you put on social media. It could be the death of you. Thank you, guys.